Sticking with weather, but moving towards the future, we could see the risk of hurricanes and tropical cyclones double here in Hawaii. That according to a new study out of UH Manoa, citing climate change impacts to our ocean temperatures and trade winds, causing an increase in the intensity of storms. Hawaii's main protection from hurricanes is our vaunted wind shear, the northeasterly trade winds, which often break up storms upon arrival. UH Manoa oceanography professor Malte Stuker is co-author of the global study on climate change, which uses what they call unprecedented resolution models on supercomputers to simulate things like ocean temperatures. The model predicts Hawaii's wind shear to weaken and ocean temperatures around the islands to continue to get warmer, making it probable for hurricanes to maintain or gain strength. Hawaii's lawmakers are working on climate legislation to reduce CO2 emissions. Senator Brian Schatz negotiating $35 billion toward green energy like wind and solar power while phasing out air conditioning coolants, which is projected to reduce 935 tons of carbon dioxide in 15 years. And we did it on a bipartisan basis. And so it's not only important in terms of uh, our progress towards fighting uh, climate change, but it's also giving me a little bit of hope that we may be able to do some bipartisan things uh, on climate in the coming Congress. This week, Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell signed three bills on climate change, which changed zoning laws on how much parking is required, streamlines permitting for residential clean energy projects, and requires the city to become carbon neutral by 2045. Our post-COVID economic health is dependent on how we transition to a clean energy and clean transportation economy. Caldwell says the resilience strategy was designed with the help of Mayor-elect Rick Blangiardi. He told KHON 2 is always investigating that there will be modifications. We can't deny ourselves or kid ourselves that sea level rise is real. We may have to modify some of our plans. We have to be a little bit more balanced on a short term going forward uh, than some of the extreme measures that I think were taken before. Schott says that clean energy can be an economic driver for the state. Climate action is an American economic strategy, and so I'm excited about working with the Biden administration uh, on taking action on, on this issue. And Hawaii has been leading for many, many years and can set an example. 